Hey guys, I'm just trying to get everything set up. Right now I can't find my live on my page, so just bear with me. Hopefully it'll pop up here any minute. Okay, I think I found it. Maybe. Can somebody comment and let me know if you can hear and see me? Let's see, I have a few people on, so I'll just wait until somebody can let me know. I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. <laughs> okay, there's Brianna and, and Aaron. Okay, great. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, let's chit chat and wait for a few more people to hop on. We don't have that many on right now. Not as many as we normally do. Hey, Christina. Hey, Barb. Hey, Diane. And Penny. Penny, you're so sweet. Thank you. Okay, guys, we'll go ahead and get started. I think we have enough people on here now. And if you see me looking to the side, just because I'm reading comments. I'm just trying to make sure everybody's hopping in and everybody can hear and see me. So if this is your first time joining us, I'm going to get some other things down here pulled up. My name is Bobby. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. and I try to do my weekly lives every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, oh, great. I was just going to say, Janet, if you needed to have me check on that, let me know. Janet, um, she, and I'm going to talk about this here in just a minute, but she had earned, placed enough orders to where she earned free Bobby Bucks. So she got to order $40 worth of Stampin' Up! products. She sends me the Bobby Bucks and I placed the order, and that's what she's just referring to, is that she got it in the mail. I placed the order one day last week. And I was going to tell you, on Friday, after I did my Facebook Live on the unboxing of the new things, I was like, why didn't I tell Barb to tell Janet that I placed that order? And I kept meaning to text her to let her know that I got it, and that I placed the order, and I just kept forgetting. And Diana, you should be getting your stamp set that I put in the mail. I think I put it in the mail on Monday, so you should be getting that anytime. And Kathy, I think you're on here. I still have to put yours in the mail. I totally forgot. It's still laying over here. I'm going tonight in, I, I think I'm about to get caught up, you guys. I'm still not where, uh, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, Diana, the price patrol. But um, I think I'm about to get caught up. I still haven't been able to do a video on YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays like I was doing, but I'm trying to get at least one up a week. Summertime's really hard because it's really busy and everybody's doing things. You're so welcome, Diana. And now that I've started exercising, I really, really, really try to do that at least Monday through Thursday, four days a week in the morning. So that's cutting into my time. And you guys, I just can't do it like I used to. I used to be able to get off at 11, be home by 1130, downstairs by 1130 actually. And I would stay down here until, you know, one or two o'clock in the morning. And now I get up earlier. So I need to go to bed earlier. And I just can't go past like 1230 or one anymore. I'm like dead beat and have to go to bed. Okay, Char, I do not know about the strawberry punch, uh, if it's back in stock yet. I have not checked the inventory status uh, report yet today. I normally really watch that when I'm designing for my kit club projects because I want to make sure none of that stuff is on back order and that it's not on the inventory because then I just move on to a different stamp set. Okay, guys, now let's get started. So like I was just saying, I try to do these every week and how you can be entered in my price patrol is to share or leave a comment on the video, even if it's not live. If it's, if you're watching the replay, just leave a comment, share the video. And then when I use my random comment picker, it um, filters through and I don't tell it to duplicate. So as many times as you share or comment is fine. And I think you might be able to, be able to only share it once. Um, but it will pick the winner then for me. So I will switch over and show you guys the winner from the last Facebook Live I did was, let me pull that up. 
Patricia Settle, and she is normally one of the first ones on here, but I haven't seen her name yet, but I'm, I bet she'll pop on, and she's also a member of my kit club. There she is. There she is. Just, oh my gosh, it's going to make me freeze up. Guys, let me know if I freeze up. The last time that happened, the video froze. Okay, I'm just going to wait and see if the video is going to freeze. It doesn't look like it's going to. So hopefully it's okay. Okay, so what she won, I got to pull this back up because I'm on the wrong thing for me to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so Patricia, you won the welcome Easter. I don't need your mailing address. I already have it and I will get this in the mail for you. And while I'm here, I don't want to forget this because she's on here and I meant to show it on Friday as well. But this is what Janet sent me when she earned her free Bobby Bucks. She just put the little paper right inside here and she wrote me a nice little note inside. So that is such a beautiful spring card. And thank you, Janet. I really like that card. Now, next week, the prize patrol is going to be a touch of ink. This was a celebration stamp set. But you guys, this is one that you had to have, um, was it $200 or 100 this one was one of the more expensive ones that you had to have. So that's going to be next week's prize patrol. Okay. So comment or share, and that's how you can be entered. And then I'll show you really quickly my April host code for my free make and take packets. It's there on the screen. It's the XP734QHP. When you place your online order and you use that host code, I know that you want my free make and takes for April. So let me show you them and I'll tell you how it works. So you can earn one, two, or three of the make and takes. If you spend $25, I send you everything you need to make this card. And if you spend $35, you'll receive everything to make this card. And then if you spend $50, you'll earn all three. So I'll send you this final one. Okay. So that's how that works. And then to explain just a little bit more about um, what I was talking about with Janet, this is on my blog. It's bobbystamps.com. And all you have to do is go there and download and print this. And then you fill in your orders here. Every time you place an order, and it has to be $50 before tax and shipping. And then once you have all those filled in, then you get to choose down here $40 worth of free product that you earn for shopping with me. And then while I'm here, I'm going to show you really quick. Um my my kit club i have a, a monthly kit club that i've been doing now for well over a year and it's 35 dollars a month and that does include your priority shipping and if you join by the 20th of every month you'll get that month's projects if you join after the 20th you're going to get what i designed for the following month and you can join or cancel this at any time because it's an ongoing club every month you you receive a make and take packet that you'll use to create the month's cards you don't have to purchase the featured stamp set and bundle, but when you do, you'll save 17% because I pay for the tax and shipping and handling. Your kit will also have $20 worth of Stampin' Up! products for you to use on your projects. Every month, we make eight cards with envelopes. I design four cards, and you make two of each design. You'll be added to my private Facebook page for members only, and that's where I post the videos and PDFs to show you how to make the, the projects. Um, after you've been a member for six months, you receive a product bonus of $25. So if you stay active for a year, you're going to end up earning $50 worth of free product. Um, and it's six consecutive months. I just had somebody earn their second one for the year. And I send, send out a little, um, little form for them to fill out, kind of like my Bobby Bucks. Hey, Jessica to let me know what they want. And then now I'll show you my projects. So for April, I'm using the sweet ice cream sweet. So it's the stamp set and then the punch. And so if you add that on, like I just said, you'll save 17%. I'll show you the cards first. So this is the cards that I designed for this month's project. Let me do it like that. See if I can get them to fit in there a little bit better. So this one is actually one of the little like faux shaker cards. Um, it's just one of our plastic little envelopes that I put there on the front. It's super cute and super easy way 
to make a shaker card. It's not the traditional way. I love how this card turned out. I love the stamp set. I just think it's so cute and sweet and very easy to use for a birthday party or anything like that. Let me show you all of these things. These are our 3D projects. So I just wanted to point out, I did find this, you guys, over the weekend at our local Dollar General store. So that would fit, um, it wouldn't fit in this holder, but it's very uh, similar. This is a, an ink pen, and that is what is in here is a little, a little ink pen, like for birthday parties. Oh, now I can't get the end off. Oh, nope, that's not, I knew that wasn't the end. Hold on a minute, I popped that off. Okay, there we go. So it's an ink pen. I told my grandkids yesterday, I went and gave them their Easter baskets and I told them I, I have some more stuff that I'm going to give them. So I pass on these little trinkets to them. And so this is the ink pen holder. This is a sour, um, sour cream holder. And inside here, you guys, I found, let me see if I can find them. They're right. I think everything should, yeah, right here it is. So these I found on Amazon and these are Jelly Belly Cold Stone Creamery. They're ice cream flavored. And I thought that was just so cute because they fit perfect in that little holder. Okay, and then this, I also got these off of Amazon. And these are little suckers that are shaped like ice cream. And um, everybody that orders the, the bundle that adds that on, I'm going to include a sucker for you because I have plenty. I feel like I'm forgetting one, two, three. Nope, this is it. And this is the, I can never say that word right, the knit sand. I'm not sure. It's like that magnetic sand. This is kind of heavy because it has that sand in there, but it does fit in there pretty nicely. So this is a little holder for that. So that is about my kit club. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to run back over here and see if I have any questions. Thanks, Kathy. She said my graphics is so cute. Okay, let's get started, you guys, on our project for today. So I'm going to use some new stuff, and I know you guys can't get your hands on this for a bit yet, for a month, but I just wanted to make this card so bad that I could not resist. I had to do it. I love that they came out with these border dies, and so this is one of the ways that you can use that to have a different front to your card. So what we're going to use, I'm going to use Tuxedo Black. I'm going to use the new, this is one of the new in colors, Pell Papaya, and another new in color, Fresh Freesia. And then that Pell Papaya is our base. And then this is DSP that's in that catalog. It coordinates with the PNZ bundle that I showed you guys the other day. And this piece I cut the same exact width as my card front. So it is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then this is a new stamp set that I shared with you guys the other day. That's where I'm going to get my sentiment from. And then I'm just going to show you the Butterfly Brilliance because it coordinates with the dies that I'm using today. So this is one that they featured just a few few weeks back um, that you could order the paper sold out. But I believe the stamp set and the, the dies are still available. I'm going to use my Wink of Stella. And then this is just my sentiment. I'm going to use two of our blending brushes and then these are new too these are the flowers so you can see let me bring the card back in you can see the little flowers here that I used and you know I did play around with the idea of using the flowers from the hydrangea and I actually punched those out but I liked these better so I'm just going to stick with these and then this is also in color ribbon that I'm going to use and you guys, I am going to do my In Color Club this year. So anybody that wants to be a part of that, just stay tuned. I'm going to try to get the information up this weekend. And how that works is it's, um, let me just finish this and then I'll tell you. This is the Pearl Basic Jewels. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that I'm going to do my sponging on. And then this one is what we're going to die cut the intricate butterfly out. And I do have the adhesive sheets on the back of that already just to make it easier for when I start to do the coloring. And then of course, we're going to use these basic border dies. And I highly suggest you guys get these the day that you can order on May 4th, because I'm telling you, I've got some great ideas for cards with these. And then this one is how I designed this card. So how I made that slant 
was this die right here. So just putting it on there. So you can come up with some great different card fronts, layering. I mean, I just think these are going to be fantastic. And I do think that these will sell out really quick. So like I just said, if you, when you can start ordering on May 4th, make your wish list. I, with the shipping issues that we're having right now, I would make sure you get everything you want because you don't know when things are going to sell out and when they're going to be able to get them back in stock. The stamp sets we don't have to worry so much about, but the dies, the punches, uh, things like that we do. But my in color club is something I offer every year when the new in colors come out and it's a way for you to get every single in color once a month. So I'll pick out, uh, like if they come with stamp and blends, if they come with the markers, the ink pad, the, um, re -inker, what else am I forgetting? If there's any little jewels or gems or, and the ribbon and things like that. So I'll get the price on that all figured out. And then you guys, I'll have that on my blog. And if you want to join my in color club, that is a great way. Hey Mary, that is a great way for you to do it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of grid paper so I don't make a mess when I do this. And I just have my paper cut big enough so that my my dye, my butterfly dye. Oh, what happened? I just went black. Hold on a minute. I went to the wrong screen, guys. Sorry about that. I was like, why did I go black? So I'm just going to take the fresh freesia. And it doesn't matter if you do... The top or the bottom whichever color you want but I'm just going to go right in the center of that and then I'm going to start on my grid paper and then come in because if I start directly on the grid paper I could leave some smears and some smudges and things like that that we don't want and I'm just trying to go even halfway down on each and to do this you can make this as dark or as light as you want I am going to make it just a little bit darker it was a little bit subtle but I do want it to be subtle. I don't want it to be too dark, but I want you to be able to see it through the card. My little bracelet jingling is driving me nuts as I was doing that, just so you guys know that. I hope it's not bothering you. Okay, and then this is the pale papaya, and we're just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to get some ink on my brush and then start off on the grid paper and then move in on the piece of basic white cardstock. And then I'm just going to pick up some more and do the same thing. And then I'm just going to kind of like go in the middle to make sure that I have them blended a little bit. So there's not, you can't tell. Okay, I think that's good enough. I think that's dark enough for each color that it'll still be pretty and subtle. Move this out of the way. Now let's bring in my die cutting machine. Oh, I wanted to show you guys too, I almost forgot. This is the paper. So this was the paper pack and it's called the Pansy Petals Designer Series Paper. It's 12 by 12. This is one of my favorite paper packs and this design right here is one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm just going to now lay this on there. I'm gonna grab this die and we're gonna die cut out the largest of the butterflies. I wanna make sure you guys can see this part. So what I did was I just took the butterfly and I tried to put it equally. So just kind of turn it and make sure you have it. You got to make sure you're staying on your plate, of course. So let's move that over. And then I'm going to try to turn it as straight as I can get it and then get the color. Get the color uh, where it's kind of divided equally. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Whoops, and I just turned it. Doesn't that happen every time? Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll leave it there. And then I'm just going to run this through. Okay. Get all my little trash. Let's throw all that away. Oh no, it jumped. Look, you guys, it jumped. Okay, let me grab another piece of Whisper White. We'll just have to do that part all over again. Hold on a minute, guys. I did not see that move when I did that. Ah. Jeez, oh, peas. Okay, this one is a little bit big. Let me cut this down just a bit. It'll just make it easier when I'm eyeballing it to try to do the center. 
to get everything colored equally. So I'll try to speed this part up again since we've already seen this. Normally I try to watch for that, for that dye to move. And I didn't see it happen. I don't know, maybe my hand hit it or something. Okay. This is the fresh freesia. We'll go in with it. Just a little bit more, I think. As you guys know, purple is my favorite color. And I do kind of think I do a good job of not using it all the time. Okay, let me move this. Try this one more time, guys. Hopefully she won't jump on us this time. Maybe I just didn't have it up high enough either. That could have been my fault because I was really trying to pay attention to make sure I didn't have that I was on the plate. So maybe I didn't even have it right. That looks really good. Let me grab, have a better plate over here that's flatter. Okay, we are all on there now. It should be fine. Okay. Fingers crossed, guys. Yep, there we go. So look how pretty that is. I love how that turned out. I'm going to clean this off really quick. Get all my scraps out of my way. Then the next thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and we'll cut that with that border die. So let me grab that border die I need. And it is uh, this one. And this one is scalloped and stitched, you guys. Move that out of the way. And what I did was it really depends on, let me show you the card really quick. It really depends on how much of the bottom you want to show on how much you're going to cut off. I basically just kind of did mine in the middle. And you just want to make sure, I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Just make sure you have it straight because you don't want it to cut crooked. Okay, just run that through. Sorry if I hit that pole, but I have to move this directly. And then look, it just cuts that right off. And then you have that little fun card front. Now I'm going to lastly die cut out our butterfly. And I'm just using it on basic white. And like I said, I have the adhesive sheets on the back. It will just make it easier to uh, adhere that. You could use your fine tip glue pen, and I am going to run this through several times because it's got all those little in in intricate pieces. Hey, Diana, welcome in. And I don't want to have to spend a lot of time trying to get those popped out, so I'm going to use my dye brush. One thing I like to do, too, is I like to just do one of these numbers with it, and I think that really helps get those unstuck too instead if you don't like using the dye brush or I just feel like for me this just really works well I just always try to get as much of this popped out as I can get popped out with my take your pixel then you can kind of move that out of the way and then kind of do one of these with your pixel you just want to make sure we want to make sure we get all these pieces out before we adhere it down because we don't want that, that out of the way. And then sometimes also this these will stick just because it's got the adhesive sheets. And when you go to pull the adhesive sheet off the back, it will release them then as well. I've noticed that with that. Okay, and then you can just flip it over if you want. Just be kind of gentle because you don't want to rip it. And these two pieces, I'm sure, are going to come off when I peel that back enough. But I'm not ready to pick, peel it off yet. Because what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to bring this back in just because I don't want to make a mess. I didn't do the Wink of Stella on my original until after. And so I had to be careful because of that, this was already on there. So this time, I'm just going to color my butterfly in 
just with my Wink of Stella before I adhere that. And then that will give it that little glimmer that I want. Hope you guys can see how pretty that is. Sometimes it's really hard to see the Wink of Stella. I'm not sure, can you guys see that? That's very pretty, trust me. Okay, now we can peel this off find I can see I can see where the little seam is where I use two different pieces but I can't get one in there we go so see what I mean when how those pieces were stuck and it just peeled them so I'm just gonna really make sure I have all of those off there now this one stayed in there so let's grab him out I think I have them all I have used this stamp set, the Butterfly Brilliance, quite a bit since I purchased it. Okay, and then you just layer that on there, just like that. Okay, let's fold our card base. I'm just going to burnish that down. And then you can use Tombow, you can use Stampin' So, whatever you want to use. I love this gingham on the back of this. Uh, there is a lot of this gingham on the back side of that DSP. And then you just even it, or I'm sorry, place it on there, just even, just like that. And then I'm gonna flip this open and grab my memento. And then I'm just gonna ink up my sentiment and put it right down there in the left lower. And that's the only thing you want to make sure that you're leaving enough room for your sentiment when you're doing that. Okay, then let's grab our ribbon. Oops. And just make sure you don't have a twist in it. And we're putting it here on the inside. And make sure I have enough to tie me a nice, a nice bow. If I can keep that piece in my hand. So I just tie, I'm just going to tie a bow. I want to make sure I'm down. I'm on the score mark there and I don't want to be. I'm not sure that is kind of loose. So I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit. So let's tighten it up. I don't want to pull it too tight because I don't want to bow the cardstock. I don't want to make it Okay, there we go. Now, I'm just going to cut these off. I'm not going to leave the ends too awful long. So I think I, I think I gouged that one. So let's kind of fix it, and then we'll make this one a little bit shorter too. And then I'm just going to pull it a little bit, and then pull this side a little bit more like that and then you can make them smaller you can do whatever you want so let's just put that right there then I'm just going to grab my dimensionals put a few whoops make this out of the way put a few dimensionals on here I threw my bone folder in the wrong place. I've got like a little trash bin and I threw it in there. I'm so glad I saw that. I would have been very upset if I threw that away. Hello guys, welcome in. Yes, Jana, I think these are very pretty colors. This is, the Pell Papaya is probably my favorite from the new In Color collection, but I do have to say I love this purple too. But I wanted to show you guys too the difference. You can see I went a little bit darker with this butterfly than I did with the original. And I think I like that one better the, the Just a little bit darker one. I think I like a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my pearls and I put a larger one here, and then I'm going to put one of the smaller ones right on top and you can use as many as you want. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is add our little flowers. 
this is probably going to take a minute, you guys, because it's either going to be the fine tip glue pen or the mini glue box. And we'll just see. I think on the larger ones, I used the the um, the glue dots because they're kind of a good fit. But on the small ones, it was a little bit hard. So let's see. Where's my original card? I'm going to do one of the polished pink ones. And I want to flip that over if I can get it to flip. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a mini glue dot right there on the back. And then pick it up. And then I put it kind of right about there. Then let's grab one of the tinier ones of the papaya. I'm going to put... I tried folding the mini glue dots over and that just didn't work too good. And then we'll just put this one oops, right there. And then just kind of hold it. That was my biggest issue is with the fine tip glue pen with the glue moving around on me. Okay, then I'm going to do one of the, what was the name of this one? Fresh Freesia. I'm going to do a glue dot. And we're going to put it down right about there. And then I'm just going to do the other larger pale papaya one that we're going to do. And we'll just get all the large ones out of the way. And then that way I can just do all the little ones at once. We'll pick that up and we're going to put it right about there. And I'll show you guys, like if you fold over the mini glue dot and then I just kind of like ran it, like made a little ball, just made it really super tiny. And then it's just kind of hard to pick up. Let me see which, which color I'm going for. I need another small of the pale papaya. Okay. And then if you put your mini glue dot, you just got to be careful because you don't want it to show through. So we'll put one there. Maybe that is going to work. Let me put the lid on my fine tip glue pen. We don't want that to dry out. And then I need a polished pink tiny one again. That's the hardest thing is getting these things to obey and stay on the side that you need them on. So I'm just going to grab a mini glue dot again, put it on the back, and then we'll place that one right there. And then we need another of the purple. Whoops. I probably should do this first before I try to pick those up. And then this one we'll put right about there. And then another mini polished pink one. We'll just roll it and get it into a tiny little ball. Try not to make it thick though, you know, you don't want it. You want to kind of flatten it out. And then we'll put that right there. There you guys go. That is my project for today. Hello, Darcy. Yeah, Kathy says she loves the uh, little flowers. I do too. And Erin says she loves the new in colors. I am too. So there you guys go. I'll show you again both of them. This one, the butterfly is just a little bit lighter. And then in this one, I did a little bit bolder. And I do like this one better, I think. What do you guys think? You like that one better? Okay, let's see. Thank you very much. You guys are so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'll be back next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with another project. Probably won't use anything out of the new catalog. I don't want to get you guys all wanting the stuff when you still have several weeks before you can order, unless you want to become a demonstrator you sign up under me, you can add these new products to your starter kit. That is an amazing thing. And they ship for free. Um, and then you get all my make and take, not my make and takes, you get all the videos, PDFs, and things like that for my monthly kit club projects. Uh, any retreats I do, I send you the, you're invited to be on that page. And then also you get the, the make and takes videos, PDFs, and things like that. So if you guys are interested in signing up, and if you place orders every month, you guys, it's just a smart business decision to do that. You're going to save yourself money because you instantly start saving 20% on all your orders. And you're going to meet your minimums if you're, if you're purchasing every month anyway, so you don't even have to worry about that. 
it's a great opportunity and there's just so many other things that goes on behind the scenes that Stampin' Up! demonstrators get to be a part of that I signed up for on tour and it's next weekend so it's like a uh, four hour event I think for us online. Okay, guys, so I will see you next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central or Eastern Standard Time. And thanks so much for stopping by and watching today. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.